everybody. We are here. We're going to do our daily Bible reading. We are on chapter 22 of Proverbs for this 22nd day of the month. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor that rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth, foreseeth the evil and hidden and hideth himself. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I do apologize. But the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fall. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart for the grace of his lips, the king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of the strange woman is a deep pit. He that is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of the child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Apply your heart to knowledge. That's a caption above verse 17. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee, they shall withal be fitted in, my, in thy lips. That thy trust may be in the Lord, I have made known to thee this day, even to thee. Have not I written to thee excellent things and counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of the truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that send unto thee. Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go. Lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul, be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmark which it, thy father hath set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before men, mean men. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. Wit wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not for riches. Certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Well, okay, so you just got the first five verses of chapter 23. I was into it. I was just reading on. So uh, we'll pick up at the beginning of chapter 23 tomorrow. And we'll reread them five verses. How about that? Uh, we'll go ahead and pray. And we got a bunch of stuff to do tonight. But God bless you all. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we come to you today, Lord. We thank you for everything that you do for us, Lord. We praise you, we honor you, and we cherish what you have given to us, Lord. We thank you. Be with us and allow us to do your will, Lord. 
it, put it upon our hearts what you have fit for us to do. How can we help you, Lord? We love you. And in Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Thanksgiving is in a few days. So let's remember why we're thinking. Not just think about food. Let's remember why we're thinking. See y'all soon.